So I miss my boo though. I can't wait to go home to her. to my channel my name is Nikki and Michelle and in today's video I'm going to show you a weekend in the life of a black homemaker I'm currently at my mom's house I just came from dinner and I am taking off my makeup for the night and I'm gonna get ready for bed Say hey. <laughs> we need to move to a different one uh, no you are good if, if you want to stay there you're fine We're It. Like I, what I got. I yeah, see. I just got one to look clipping. If you're new here, welcome again. My name is Nikki Michelle, and I upload new videos every Tuesdays and Sundays on homemaking. I vlog my life and I share skincare tips because I'm a licensed esthetician. If you're interested in their content, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video and become an emerald. Back in my day, they only had one flip. They, they used to be right here. Dog, oh, I see. What kind of dog is that? wanted to slow the video down to talk to y'all um i'm getting dressed to go home i think i'm gonna go buy a coffee shop first 
and probably do maybe like an hour worth of editing before I get on the road to head home. Um, I came down to take my mom to um, an appointment that she had and I'm pretty sure I already told y'all that too. I don't know how much of this is gonna be voiceover versus me actual talking. The whole video at this point is probably voiceover because you know, I had my mom and then we had my one of my nieces yesterday. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you another recap. So I came down Thursday to take my mom to an appointment. Well, her appointment was on Friday. I just wanted to come a day earlier because it was early yesterday, which was Friday. I just came a day early. I bought some stuff. I bought extra clothes in case I stay because, um, as you know, I don't live here. So whenever I do come down, especially if I come by myself, I pretty much do end up staying an extra day. So I bought extra clothes and I stayed the night. Last night we had hibachi. Well, we went to, I went to this place called um, Walk Something and picked us up some dinner. It was good. We ate that and then we both kind of just settled down and got in bed. Then I talked to Keisha all night. Today she had to go to work, so I'm here by myself and after I put my eye patches on, I went to go straighten up the living room so I can get her house back how she had it when I came. And now the skin ready to go. I really enjoyed my time here. And as I was here, I was thinking that I probably should do this. Well, I know I should do this more often, but I have a hard time figuring out what balance looked like. I know Keisha doesn't mind and she doesn't you know make a fuss about it and she doesn't make me feel guilty for it um so i just need to do it more often because i had a really good time and she had a good time i don't really struggle when it comes to my sibling at least i think i don't they probably i don't know if they would agree um but with my mom i could stand to give her a little bit more with my mom i should give her more one-on-one -on -one time especially since i'm down to one parent and how you gonna get into that <laughs> so i definitely want to um focus on coming home more spending more quality time with her because i had such a good time she had a good time and it was just good all the way around we were able to get jayla as she seen because i knew she would make my mom feel good and forget about you know her appointment and she had us both laughing and it was just a really really good time i'm planning something with my other nieces pretty soon um so that's fine the makeup is looking ghosty on camera but i promise you it's not like this in real life what else so i miss my boo though i can't wait to go home to her we probably do have you know what, I like, I, not only do I love Keisha, I like her. And I enjoy being around her, I enjoy her company. So, you know, it is a little hard for me to be away from her, I'm not even gonna lie. But um, it is sweet when I go home to her and I know she looks forward to it. And I look forward to it and I made sure she was very comfortable before I left, which is what the video before this was about. Um, please go watch it if you haven't. I just show how I prep my home and how I prepare to leave um, when I'm not there. Because even though I'm not home, I still want the house to run like I am home. I want Keisha to have everything she needs and to be comfortable. Um, because of the lifestyle Keisha affords me, I get to like go home and go to appointments with my family members, my mom. And because, you know, I do have that luxury of being her wife, I make sure she has everything she needs when I'm not there because I'm so appreciative of her because I mean she, I mean I'm not entitled to this life but she makes sure I have whatever I need while I'm there or not there and I want to do the exact same for her I want her to have whatever she needs while I'm there or not there I'm done with my makeup I do not have setting spray I meant to pick some up yesterday when I went to Target and I did it. Let me see if my mom has some spray. The same spray I got. I don't think she had any. It's cool. So.
Yep, I look forward. Um, I had a really good time here. I'm happy to go home. And I'm going to challenge myself to do this more. I will do this more. So I'm getting ready to get dressed. I'm changing out my earrings because I'm getting ready to do my hair. I'm wearing it down. It's time for me to take these down. I'm probably gonna um, do them again one more time before I get braids. And then I won't get braids until we get ready to go to Florida. Ooh. This is the headband I showed y'all in my spring nighttime routine. And these are the pajamas I was talking about, of course. Thanks so much. I've already packed up my stuff. I packed it up last night. This is my hair bag. My mother is calling me. I'll be right back. Sonics and got me a slushy and I got Keisha some ice. I've unpacked, separated my clothes. I have my first load of laundry on and now I'm getting ready to unpack my makeup bag and wipe everything down. It's time for me to clean my brushes again so I'm just going to leave them out. I've used this three, four times so I'm just going to trash I think I'm going to chill for the night with Keisha. And then tomorrow I'll pick y'all back I'll pick y'all back up when I cook a dinner. It is Sunday. I came home on Saturday. Keisha and I chill for the night. And then Sunday, I had to edit the video that you see the following Tuesday. So while I was upstairs editing, Keisha was downstairs cooking dinner. And she recorded for y'all so y'all can see. Um, she already knew what was on the menu, so she just started cooking dinner. I'm having issues with my computer. So I haven't been able to use it and I've been editing from my phone and it's a little different. So I was editing all day and when I came down to start dinner, she was already almost done. So as you already seen, she made the breadcrumbs from scratch because we didn't have any and this is her putting her sauce together. She did a pink sauce, so that's um, marinara sauce as well as a little half and half. So I'm just going to let you guys watch her work her magic and I'll be back.
here's the finished product dinner was definitely a 10 out of 10 it's so good i want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me this weekend thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye